Hey bitches, my name is Futon today. Now before you go and call me a whore in the comments. <laughs> Number one, I don't care if you do. That word is like the least insulting at this point. Last year when it was Valentine's Day, I kind of, I don't really know what happened last year. But I know a good amount of you guys like these sit down talks and I want to do more of them this year, like have an honest chit chat. So yeah, let's talk about relationship and cover this up because I have class soon. I do not want my professors seeing me as this person. Editing Frederick here, by the way, to my sister who's watching, before you text me, you got no right to judge me, okay? I remember your high school relationships. I saw you got them too, okay? I wasn't stupid. And to my parents who are watching me, what's in the day but you pay us I guess I'm gonna prime like it matters. I know for like most of my videos, I always say, oh, I don't want a boyfriend. I don't need a boyfriend. You guys shouldn't get one too. And I try to stand by that as much as possible. But like, how long can one just say, I don't need a boyfriend? Hold on, while I try to find something that would work for me. But I'll admit, I was looking for something. You know, I had high hopes, as every person does. Because that's not gonna, this is not gonna cover at all. Don't worry, I'm gonna explain how this happened. I downloaded Tinder and Hinge at some point. For those of you who don't know what they are, uh, they're online dating apps and yeah, I was a little embarrassed about it because like, I've always been that person who wanted to meet someone in real life. You know, I drop a piece of yogurt in the grocery stand and like some cute guy picks it up and it's like, oh, thank you for helping me solve my clumsiness. Uh, my name is Frederick. Movie type shit, you know, like the, the stuff that never happens in real life basically. And like, realistically, that's not gonna happen because the amount of gay guys, and I mean, decent ones that you're gonna find, I probably have a better chance of winning the lottery than getting a boyfriend at a grocery store because they dropped a piece of yogurt. Holy hell. Uh, my professors are gonna look at me. Maybe I'll just do like some regular makeup and maybe that will distract from this. So I downloaded it and I didn't match with that many people because, well, I'm a picky bitch. A little bit of a picky bitch. Also, if you've had it before, you'd know that the majority of people on Tinder are doing it for hookups and that is not my type of thing. I don't date just to date. It's like I want to date to to marry, even though I'm 18. Like, I get it. I know it's stupid because like what, I'm 18 years old and I have a lot to learn and it's gonna take like, what, 10 years for me to even bother getting married? I just don't like dating someone and then thinking about breaking up with them while dating. Once again, I'm very picky, always have been. So after being ghosted by like, what, five people on Tinder, I tried Hinge and didn't match with anyone until this one guy, this guy. We talked for a little bit and had a lot in common. I couldn't find anything that would have made things go badly, like all our interests were similar in some way. There were no red flags, so he asked me on a date and I agreed. We went to Panera and he insisted on paying for me and I was like, that's very nice of you. Um, I'm paying the next time. Then we went back to his room and his room was really nice. His roommates were really nice. There were no signs of anything being sketchy. There are no shady things. And it was a good movie. We watched Burlesque. And then, like, we kissed a little bit. And then, I got a hickey. And I told him it was okay, and he was very respectful of boundaries and stuff. So after hanging for, like, what, six hours, he said, like, let's call it a night. I need to go do homework. And I was like, I agree. I need to go back. And then he said he definitely wanted to meet again. So I was like, yeah, me too. And, of course, before that, I asked him, like, D was this just, you know, a one-time thing? Do you want this to go further? And he said, let's just see where this goes. So I was like, okay. Next day I text him and no response. Was, I just said, good morning. Waited a few hours until it was like, what, 2 p.m.? And I was like, is everything okay? And then at some point he left me on red on Snapchat. I was like, I'll take personal offense to that. <laughs> Thank you. He posted on a story. So I was like, oh, he's clearly awake. So I sent him another snap, got left red again. And then by that time it was like 7 p.m. So I texted him, dude, like, what's up is everything okay and i think by midnight i was just like okay listen i get it if you think the date went badly but like just don't go someone and then still no response and now we're here the next day so i'm just gonna assume doesn't want to meet up again and you know what that's fine like if you go on one date and you don't want to see someone again but don't lie and say you really want to meet them the next time and then also not respond to them like just I hate the fact that people don't have the guts to confront like that. And then, of course, like, I'm the one to start thinking, this is my fault, like, what did I do wrong during the date? Should I not have kissed him? Is it the way I dress? Is it because I was not short enough for him? I don't know. You start thinking of stupid shit. Like, that's just a normal thing. And of course, it would make me upset. Like, that, that all that stuff makes me upset. And I almost got to the point where I just didn't want to hang out with anyone because I started you know, getting in my mood. And then my friends just said, no, listen, it's not your fault. If he doesn't reply to you by the next day, he's a douche for just ghosting you. Which is true, but 
Usually, whenever things go wrong, like yeah, I've tried to look for guys in college a little bit and all of them have gone south at some point. And then I have this cycle of blaming myself and then thinking I did something wrong. But I have to remind myself, that it wasn't my fault. A lot of guys just suck. And that's why I wanted to talk to you guys because Valentine's Day is coming up and I know a lot of people here are single. And you know what? It's fine. You don't want to get together on Valentine's Day anyways because that could really go wrong too. A lot of people that I know used to feel pressure to get into a relationship just because their friends are. Some of you guys text me saying, I don't know how to get out of this relationship. And you proceed to list all the toxic things about it. And then I just think like, can you just read that over again? And I just want you guys to think like, if a friend told you all the toxic things about their relationship, would you want them to continue it? No, probably not. And that's why you shouldn't, because life is not short. I mean, it probably will be in this day and age. But you'll meet another person. And I just have to remind myself that. I don't really know the point of this video. I think it was supposed to be like me getting out my problems, letting you know that this will probably be here for a while. So like, no conspiracy, not dating any YouTuber, okay? Oh, I didn't even powder it down, hold on. I guess the point of this video was to let you know that, yeah, this happens to everyone. And I know a lot of people try to assume like YouTubers, their relationships are different. Mm, not really. I get ghosted just as much as you guys probably. Did that help at all? I'm trying to tell you that what you're feeling isn't wrong. It's okay to be upset that you're single because your friends are in a relationship or that you just feel like you need someone. But at some point, you're gonna realize that you're going for a relationship for the wrong reasons. And so many people have told me to just stop looking. And I think my last straw has finally been pulled because this, I'm done being ghosted. And I've always thought like, am I cursed? Like, if I tell anyone about a potential guy I like, will it just go bad? And what's funny is that my other friend, the moment I told her about this guy, she said, don't trust him, he's a J. And I've dated three J's and each and every one of them went bad at some point. But yeah, this Valentine's Day, don't feel sad about being single. But if you try to give excuses for the people you like, say the guy who just ghosted me texts me again and tries to come up with an excuse. Would you let me continue talking to him? Depending on your answer, think about that for yourself. And I'm trying to tell you, don't settle for less. And don't bother downloading Tinder and Hinge if you live in the New York area. I deleted them. Those profiles are not gonna come back. I'm still gonna wait for the guy who picks up my yogurt when I drop it at the grocery store. So yeah. I did not cover this hickey at all uh, because I have no concealer right now. But it's just a reminder that maybe I shouldn't go for guys right now. That's all for this video. Sorry I uploaded late. College has been hectic. But if you enjoyed, give this video a like, leave a comment down below, or subscribe for more videos whenever I can. So just turn on my notifications so you don't miss anything if I'm late. Now let's read a coming out story. For those of you who are wondering, I always try to read coming out stories at the end of every video to inspire others to come out. And they're always anonymous. So I went to my aunt's house for Chanako. I'm so sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I decided I finally wanted to come out to one of my cousins. I'm not out to anyone in my family except one who is younger than me, so this was absolutely terrifying. I couldn't face him in person, so on the hour-long drive back home, I texted him, and your text went something like, I'm trans, I'm a guy, please don't hate me. If you don't want to talk to me a whole lot now, I get it, but please don't tell anyone. And your cousin responded with, wow, I didn't expect that. It doesn't change really anything between us. You are still my cousin, whether you are a guy or girl. I have literally zero problems with trans people. I was honestly crying in the back seat of my parents' car and couldn't stop smiling at different points in the following days. Thank you for sharing your story. And as always, I love you guys and everything is less than three. And fuck men.